lot of people have written in to ask if I really talk like this. Well, I don't. I put it on for the show. This is what I really talk like, really. Do you know what I mean, darling? <laughs> Good evening and welcome to another edition of Top of the Form. And this evening we're at the semi-final stage and tonight's contest is between the boys of the King Arthur's Grammar School Podbury and the girls of the St. Maria Kangaroo Boot, the second county high school and a half. And so without further ado, let's go straight on with round two. David, David, what is the name we give to the meat we get from pigs? Ah. Uh. Pork. Good, good. Oh, that's two marks to you. Uh, Marcia, what is the... Marcia, what is the name of the metal alloy we get from zinc and copper? Brass? No, no, I'm afraid not. Uh, the answer's pork. Uh, Malcolm, what is the capital of Australia? <laughs> no, no, well, I can see you're not going to get this one. Uh, the capital of Australia is pork. <laughs> Sign on. Who wrote the tale of two cities? Uh, pork. Good, that's too much. To you. And so, on to Stig's question. Stig, what was the date of Captain Cook's discovery of Australia? Pork. Good, too much. To and the last question of this round to you, Lust. Can you... <clears throat> Lust, can you quote the first two lines of Thomas Gray's elegy written in a country... Oh. Good, to you. And the, and the score at the end of round two is Joan Sharp. Well, the score at the end of round one, the boys of the King Arthur's Grammar School pod breathe three... The girls of the Mildon Hall Grain Boiling Institute, Salmon Tooth, four. Thank you, Joan, and so on to round one. <laughs> Tell the difference. Uh, David, David, what is the difference between a monsoon and a mongoose? Uh, well, uh, a monsoon is a long plastic pole you hang out of windows at an angle to keep the birds away. <laughs> And a uh, mongoose is a box you lock books up in for Easter. <laughs> no, I can only give you a half for that. But I can offer it to you, Marcia. Pork? <laughs> no, no, you're guessing, aren't you? Well, a monsoon is a wind, and a mongoose isn't. <laughs> well, uh, that's quite enough of that round. And the score, please, Joan Shock. Oh, well, at the end of round, uh, the score is the boys of the Long John Silver Accountancy School, seven, and the girls of Dr. Barnforth's Front Trampling Institution, 92. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. And, and round three. And the score, please, Joan Sharp. 28. <laughs> Good, and now on to round four, and butterflies. And the first question on butterflies to you, Malcolm. Malcolm, what is the capital of Iraq? <laughs> Red Admiral. No. Cabbage <laughs> White. No. No, no. The answer is back down. I'm afraid you were on the wrong track. There. Uh, next question to you, Sano. <laughs> so you have the next question, Sano. Um, uh... Could I have that question again, please? Certainly. Oh, no, this is a trick question, Thanon. So think carefully. What is the capital of Australia? Ah. Uh, Canberra. No, no, the answer is, of course, Ottawa, the capital of Canada. <laughs> that was the trick part of the question. 
caught you napping there, Thanos, but I can offer it once again to you, Joan Sharp. Also what? Good, that's two points to you, Joan. Now, Steve, what is the capital of North Korea? Pyongyang. Uh, yes, but I'm not giving you any marks for that because nobody likes a clever dick. <laughs> The, uh, the last question to you, Lust. Lust, who put marzipan in Joan Shark's knickers? I did. Oh, well done. Well done. Well, that's two no, full marks to you. And, uh, and the final score, please, Joan Shark. Well, the final score, the boys of Eton College 1 and the girls of the Wilfred Mouse-based School of Guerrilla Warfare 9. And I've got 22. So, schools, three cheers for me. Hip, hip. <laughs> And so, and so Joan Shark is the winner. Well, well done, Joan. And next week she'll be meeting Franklin Engelman in the final. Good night.